Hey guys, thanks for coming by. I know it's been a while and a lot has happened in the in the middle of all this, so but I definitely wanted to give a reading for this special day that we have the Jupiter Jupiter <laughs> Jupiter Saturn conjunction. A lot has been happening. I'm aware that relationships um, our own personal convictions and beliefs are being tested around this time. So I definitely wanted to at least grace this day with a reading. For those of you that um, joined me at the beginning of my quest when I was uploading videos more frequently, thank you for coming back. And um, I really hope that this message will also give you something in return. So my cat makes an appearance. Oh, there she is. <laughs> so the totem that I have for today is this um, traditional Ethiopian decoration that you would normally see. And this is the mother hen. I definitely feel this motherly love on this day, so I just wanted to use this. If it means anything to you, if you were probably born on year of the rooster, then you can use that symbolism any way you like. So. Now, um, I will channel the cards and ask for a message. I'll do the five-point star spread. The message will just be a general message about a collective message, I, I would say, about what is to come. Uh, first, the situation, comment given, obstacles, advice, and the solution. So, without further ado, I'll go ahead and I'll channel these cards. I got the number seven. And of course, <laughs> do you guys like my clown pants? <laughs> I got these during the COVID time and I don't know, it seemed like I grew. <laughs> they no longer fit me. And that doesn't make sense. I mean, it makes sense to grow internally, but I'm past the age to continue to grow physically. Well, anyway, I really hope that that was four. Five. The number I got for shuffling was seven. Six and seven. Okay. All right, let's get this started. Two. Put this by you, two, two. Three, four, five. Beautiful. Okay, let me shift back a little bit so we can all see the cards put the hen here okay I will take this facing me usually when I do the reading I specify that I do the reading facing the viewer but since I did ask for the question I will take this facing me so for the nature of the problem or situation is this uh, lack of discretion, lack of respect. This can be seen in all levels, big and small, um, the system, the government, to the individual, to the way we're treating our Mother Earth. So the nature of the problem, situation, or question is this lack of, this lack of discretion, lack of respect. Um, there, you know, the Sphinx was the guardian. And so when, when this is reversed, it shows that there is no guardianship, there's no protection over something that is unnatural and that goes against the balance of life. Okay. And I know that this is a collective reading, but please also take the message on an individual level too, because these are Egyptian cartouche cards. They are quite powerful in their own right, so you know, I, I would respect the message they're giving. Okay, and here in the comment given, we have Osiris. Osiris is the god of life. He's also god of the underworld at the same time. There is sort of a passage and the, and the one. This card has one. So it's, it's, it's this message of understanding 
what needs to be done because Osiris is also the fatherly figure, you know, the one that when you go to him, he takes his time to think of his answer. And when he tells you what he has to say, it's quite comforting, but at the same time, it's firm. And so this is the same energy I'm getting in this respect is that there is, there is a firmness. Yes, take care of yourself, understand what needs to be nurtured, but at the same time, do it. Do what needs to be done for the good of you and for the good of others because if you've been procrastinating or lagging on a certain task mission and the whole society as a whole at this point this is also a good message saying that now is the time to go forward all right obstacles is the winged disc so in this case this isn't necessarily an obstacle but a factor so the winged disc is a beautiful symbolism of the sun, but it's also ascension, thus the wings, going higher. On this day, it's a very auspicious symbol, I would say. And so the factors to be considered is that growth is the only way to go. At this point, if you're, if you're not growing, you're dying. That's the message I'm getting here. Okay. And here... The drama for the advice is set. Now, when set is in this position, this is these are the factors, the difficult factors, the economic collapse, the failing governments, the relative that didn't give you your word, I mean that um that, that didn't, you know, do his word or her word. It can be on a big scale, on an individual scale, but these are factors that you couldn't control. This is essentially, Set is the Set is the brother of Osiris, which is very interesting that they came out in the spread. But the feeling that I get between brother and brother, between life and chaos, order and destruction, is this is quite amicable. Because this card is telling you that there are things that you cannot control. There is a chaos outside of you that you cannot control. It is not your fault that certain people are treating you this way. There is a 50-50 because there's always a certain toleration that we give in terms of how people treat us. But in this case, if there was something that just you know, destroyed your trust, that destroyed your belief... In something then this was not your doing although you do have to please pay attention to your reaction to this this is a message that when these things happen pay attention to the reaction you're having when these things are out of your control because this is so important is what I'm getting here interestingly enough since I'm getting an amicable um, energy between the two brothers it's almost like a good sign, okay? Doing what needs to be done, understanding the reaction of when these things are out of your hands. And beautiful. Here we have pyramid in the solution or, yeah, in the solution or meditation. Now the pyramid is something that isn't built in one day. It takes time. Every day at a time adds to the pyramid that we build together or ourselves regardless it is still a monument to hard work perseverance and devotion and so on a collective reading i will go over and overview this hey tutu are you gonna go in my lap it's very good that the cat is here on an egyptian reading um anyway so sphinx there was a lack of respect discretion there is a lack of understanding, okay, um, in whatever is concerning you or also on a collective scale, okay? Um, and also, in this case, there is a lack of protection for these kinds of things, for these kinds of actions towards, you know, contributing to the imbalance. Okay, and here we have Osiris. Osiris is... Uh, you know, nurturing but firm. Yes, you do have to nurture certain aspects that need to be healed, but you need to do it. At this point, this is the time to go forward in action. 
Here we have winged disc. This is a factor of growing. Really focus on your growth, on the collective growth. This is also on an individual scale. This is the message. If you are not growing, you are dying. And so here we have set. Set is understanding that certain things are out of our hands that we cannot control, um, certain outcomes that affect us negatively, but the reaction to these uh, to these instances are very important. They're very important to building up on that pyramid. Okay, now the pyramid is understanding that things take time, there is patience, and so I'm also getting another message that right now is a time of preparation. Not a lot can be done in, in this moment in time if you're waiting for something official or if you're trying to get something done. I understand. Osiris is saying, do it. But I think this is also on an individual internal level as well as the external. Because if we can do it, whatever that you've been procrastinating, at least it will add another brick. It won't add another row that's needed to be built for this pyramid. But it is saying that slowly but surely it will continue to it will continue to get um, the structure that it needs to be stable. And that understand that there is a time for preparation, a time for doing, a time for planning, a time for action, a time for going out, and a time for staying at home. So understand that, you know, when we're looking at all of these inclinations of this reading, and that this is pertaining to you as the individual as much as it is to the collective, we are all working together to build this monument to faith. All right, beautiful. I'm very happy with this reading, guys. Um, and I hope I did shuffle the correct number. I will check back in the video. Anyway, thank you so much. I'll try to be more frequent in my readings, but I really doubt that. There's just been um, a lot of energy shifts going on, and I want to respect that by riding by the ride. All right. Well, thank you so much, guys. Um, I really do have faith that you'll have peace in your journey ahead towards 2021 if I don't hear from you or if you don't hear from me again. Until next time. Thank you, guys. Bye.